In less than 24 hours, three persons were killed through gun violence in St. Kitts, starting Wednesday, February 13th. On Wednesday, sometime after 7 p.m., Vare Amory, also known as Money or Stiff Jacket of Spons Pasture, was shot by a lone gunman in Sandy Point while playing dominoes. He died at the scene. On Thursday, February 14th, at about 2 a.m., Joel Phillip, also known as Buyaka of St. Johnson's Village, was shot in his home by unknown gunmen. Then, sometime after 1 p.m., also on Thursday, Gavin Rogers was shot in his home in Old Road by a lone gunman. Both were pronounced dead at the scene. Members of the crime scene unit visited and processed the scenes and collected items of evidential value. Investigations into the matter are ongoing. On Thursday, the cabinet called an emergency meeting with the police high command to address the sudden upsurge in homicides. In a statement issued Thursday, the government said it will respond resolutely to the sudden and unacceptable escalation of violent crime in the country. The government has given the security forces their fullest support and all valuable options will be considered and implemented, the statement said. The police is making an appeal to anyone who might have information regarding this incident to contact the violent crime unit by calling 467-1887 or 467-1888 or 662-3468 or by calling the crime hotline at 707. The three persons killed bring the number to six homicides in less than a week and seven for the year thus far. SK Newsline understands that the shooting of Gavin Rogers in Old Road Thursday occurred in the vicinity of a primary school and preschool in broad daylight and that some of the students may have witnessed the incident. Meanwhile, police disclosed that 10 persons are currently in police custody assisting with the investigations into the two recent shooting incidents that occurred in the Ponds Pastors area. Being investigated are an early morning shooting incident on Tuesday, February 12th, in which an unknown assailant or assailants fired several shots at a home and an incident that occurred on Monday night in which 28-year-old Eric Thompson was fatally wounded. No one was injured during Tuesday's incident. They are also being questioned about their involvement in organized crime in the Federation. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.